Hey guys, welcome back to KY Coins and Collectibles. And what I've got here is a little gold and a little silver. And I know everybody's been talking about gold and silver here lately. The prices have really been going up. So I just wanted to give you a quick comparison because a lot of people that I talk to, they're always collecting silver eagles and sil stacking silver. And, and it can add up really fast when you're buying tubes after tubes after tubes after tubes. I mean, it adds up. And it don't just, you don't really add up. It takes up a lot of room too. <clears throat> so what I just wanted to give you real quick was like a, a visual comparison to gold. So, I mean, I'm going to make it pretty simple. Uh, and this is just kind of a rough estimate uh, between the two. I mean, it's not going to be exact because what I'm comparing here is just silver eagles to uh, to uh, some gold coins and uh, Liberty, and a lot of most of them are pre-1933, so. It won't just be gold value. These have numismatic value as well. But that's okay because that just adds a little extra value. But I've got the prices set good enough to where we can do a visual here. Because, uh, I mean, just four tubes of Silver Eagles is a lot. And if you're a prepper or doing it for investment it just really depends on why you're doing it why you're collecting why you're saving what you want to do but just this will give you an idea because everybody thinks that gold is just it's too expensive to have but when you break it down like this you'll see that it's really not so just because the spot gold spot right now is 2400 and silver is $28. You People kind of think that gold is unattainable. unattainable. It costs too much. Well, that's for a spot. That's like an ounce. You don't have to buy an ounce of gold. So, your silver eagles, like I said, I've got four tubes here. And right now, on eBay, a, a tube of silver eagles, depending on the year, the, a newer or older ones, they're going for about six fifty. And today's $420, uh, 20, and this is what gold was. And I just got off eBay looking at some of the sold items, and a, a tube or a row of silver eagles is going for about six fifty. Just that's kind of the average. And uh, what I want to show you is this tube is about 650. You got 20 of them in there. This one $5 gold piece, it's an 1886S. And it's going on eBay right now, depending on condition. And I looked at one similar to this between six and seven hundred dollars so this right here is a perfect comparison you can have a gold coin or you can have a tube of eagles so you can have you a lot of people probably have a, a few or a bunch of tubes of silver eagles in their safes and it, they, it takes up a lot of room. If you're like me, you've, you've probably got a bunch of guns in there too, and you've got some wife's jewelry, and you've got a bunch of other stuff in there taking up a lot of room. And and these tubes ta do take up a lot of room, especially if you got 10 or 20 of them, because a lot of people do. Uh, downsize. Sell you one pick you up a gold coin so just just giving you a little helpful advice because I think a lot of people have the mindset that gold is too expensive now 
it can get expensive if you're trying to buy one ounce go bar yeah you're talking 24 about twenty four hundred dollars or twenty five uh, but look at it this way four of these tubes is about twenty four hundred dollars so we've got their their average going for about six fifty so if you take six fifty times four that's twenty six hundred dollars so if that would be about the price of a, a one ounce gold bar depending on the brand condition and what I've got is a 1884 S twenty dollar double eagle uh, Liberty gold coin and and I've got about twenty five hundred dollars on mine so there's enough this is another prime example four of these is twenty six hundred dollars so depending on a uh, year mint and not such and so forth but the average they're going for about sixty uh, six hundred and fifty dollars you can take four of these and you can buy a gold coin so that that's just one way to look at it. that's kind of how I look at it but you don't have to be either or you can do both sell you a couple uh, tubes pick you up a, a ten dollar gold coin and uh, they're going for about twelve hundred dollars well guess what that's about two two rows of silver eagles so and it's not just it's not just freeing up room in your your safe or your uh, lockbox it's it's diversifying as well because you don't want to have a safe full of just gold or you don't want to have a safe full of silver eagles or silver which I mean it would be nice to have a safe full of gold but um, come on nobody does so but it's not looking at it this way it's not that uh, overwhelming because you don't have to buy $2,500 worth of gold you can buy $600 worth of gold and and you know what if something was to happen and you had to jump in the safe and take off something I mean I mean if you're prepping you can't pack a duffel bag of silver out the door you you just can't do it and and I always laugh at these older uh, movies where like there's a bank robbery and they're packing silver and gold bars out in a duffel bag and you can't do that I mean you can't pack out a duffel bag of gold you're gonna have uh, a bar of gold in it just one bar so if you're prepping you're not going to be packing out a duffel bag of gold I mean just these these four just these four tubes right here uh, it's pretty heavy I mean you're going to be packing out your guns and your your ammo and your food and your water you don't want to have uh, have to worry about packing out a bunch of silver so diversify and I know you can buy gold in the, the smaller bars that you can break apart if you're worried about having to use gold or silver for uh, transactions like barter and trade and I know a lot of people do that and that's fine I mean I've got I've got stuff for that but if something if the was to hit the fan you know what I mean I'm not going to be grabbing all of my uh, uh, 40 thing tubes of silver eagles like I can't can't pack can't pack that many I mean uh, you're going to rip your backpack trying to pack that stuff out so really all I'm saying is just try to diversify get a little bit of both uh, and 
and this this is a good way to do it and i just was wanting to show you all because a lot of people are like oh i can't afford gold and i'm talking to them and they're showing me like eight tubes of silver eagle i'm like well you can't afford it because you just showed me five thousand dollars worth of uh silver eagles so y you can't afford it you're just choosing eat like you're choosing silver instead of gold so about people like i've uh, last couple of days i've had people talking about silver and gold prices and going up and people just tell me they can't afford gold and they're silver stackers and they've got a bunch of 10 ounce bars and silver tubes of silver eagles and i'm like just add up what you got in your silver and compare it to gold like you can you can have smaller pieces of gold and it's a good uh, diversification you I mean you need to diversify and it's kind of the same if you're looking at this stuff as investments if i think gold and silver will go up as well uh, but but i i'm not i don't put all my eggs in one basket this is just some of my investments i'm not heavy on gold i'm not heavy on silver i also uh have stocks uh 401k uh savings uh, because i know this is kind of just goes a little above and beyond but i think it all kind of ties in uh, i mean i'm i'm 36 uh, I, I worry about social security when i'm uh, in my 60s so i mean is there going to be a social security for me to draw from i mean it's going to be i'll be lucky to get any of it or a small percentage so i think people need to be looking at other investments or real estate uh, rental properties uh, it's always good to have property um, i think re rental income is really good uh, and there's a lot of stuff that are good investments guns are good investments i think i mean i live in eastern kentucky and you go past a flea market or you go to a pawn shop and they're they sell guns and they keep their value uh so i mean it's just i'm just trying to inform you all about mostly gold and silver but also be prepared i mean you need to invest for your future and that's what this is i collect it because i love it but I also collect it for my future and my uh, generational wealth, my family. And that's, that's why I try to diversify and put so much in different things. I don't want to be heavy in one asset. And, and precious metals are an asset. So is, like, like I said, stocks, real estate, uh, savings account cds uh just your 401k i mean it's it's better to have it i mean because a, a lot of younger people they're not investing like they should and they're hoping social security uh social security will be all they uh, need and I mean it's not gonna it's not gonna be enough for you so this is a good investment and these other assets are good investments uh, so prepare for your future be smart about it be intentional about it uh, because you you're gonna get old I mean I, I never when I was 18 I never thought I'd be uh, just when I was 18 and I thought I thought 36 was old well here I am and uh, I'm glad I've have educated myself and that's one of the another great investment is knowledge uh, read up on this stuff 
and learn about investments, learn about stocks, learn about the economy, learn about how it works. Uh, I mean, the there's nobody in the workforce anymore. Nobody's paying into Social Security. It's it's kind of there's more going out than going in. Uh, it's going to run out. They've already got a deadline. Just be intentional about your future and your investments. And uh, I guess this is kind of like a public service announcement. But for me, I knew gold and silver would tie into this. And I just kind of wanted to give you a visual. Uh, but I know a lot of people that watch these videos that I do are or somewhat older. I've had younger people, but it, it seemed like most of uh, you all are 30, 40, 50, 60s. I know I got some younger people, but that's good. I mean, I wish when I was in my teens, I thought more about this. But as they say, if youth knew and age could, so just kind of take this as a uh, uh, as an, a little bit of advice uh, be prepared plan for your future invest in yourself uh, and just be prepared I mean you never know what's going to happen it's an election year uh, always Always be prepared. I know, uh, I think it was Bruce Lee that said, it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. So, be prepared. And I hope I got that right. <laughs> I believe I did. Uh, just be prepared. There's nothing wrong with being prepared. Uh, invest. Uh, invest in multiple different ways if one goes belly up you still got all these over there and and don't just i mean you're not doing it for yourself you're doing it for your family uh your i mean yourself of course you're doing it for your family uh your loved ones uh your country i mean more or less like if everybody's doing good those around you you can help them, and uh, I just just kind of want everybody to be a little more knowledgeable on the topic. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you all listening. Uh, this is a little different video than I normally do, but over the last day or two, people have been talking to me a lot about gold and silver, and and it just kind of this has been on my mind. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of talk about it because people just, they have no idea. And, and I see people all the time that are uh, 30, 40, and 50, and they have no, uh, no savings. They have no 401K or stocks or, or nothing. And they're just like, oh, well, I mean, I'll get Social Security and I can retire or, or I'll never be able to retire. Yeah, that's, I don't want to think like that. So you need to be more in intentional about what you're doing. I mean, I don't want to work until I'm 70. Uh, I don't want to work till I'm 60, 70, 80. I know people that are working because they're, they have to. They never invested, and that just blows my mind. But it's because they didn't know. Uh, they didn't know about silver and gold and 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 so just wanted to inform you all a little bit just be intentional and that's the word of the day is intentional for me uh, because if you're wanting to do something you have to have intent and you really have to focus in on it so you can't just be like oh I'll be fine when I'm 60 and I want to retire no, you won't. You can't live off Social Security. Uh, it, it don't work. There's a lot of people probably that are following me. Uh, if you're older or on 
Social Security. It's tough. And, like, let everybody know in the comments. Like, if you're living off Social Security only, you're you're living paycheck to paycheck. And if you get a raise every year, I guarantee it's not up to what inflation is. So it don't matter. But it just, it's tough out there, especially... If you got a truck payment, a car payment, uh, or if you wanted to have a four wheeler, I mean a mortgage, of course. Uh, it's just, it's tough, and Social Security is a fixed income, pretty much. So, I'd like to hear from some of my older collectors. Uh, I know y'all don't have to tell what you make or anything, but just let everybody know. That, I mean, if you're just on Social Security, it's it can be tough. And uh, if you have no other supplemental income, it's you're you're about living paycheck to paycheck, and and that's no way to live. Who wants to live like that? I know, but a lot of people they just didn't know when they were younger that it was going to be like this when you're older and. And and you really just don't think about it. So think about your future. Plan for your future. I appreciate you all for uh, watching, uh, liking my videos, and subscribing. Please comment below. Let me know what kind of investments you have. I mean, you don't have to tell me about your personal stuff. Like, you don't have to tell me your safe combination or anything. If you want to, you can email that to me. I'll give you my email. But, but all jokes aside, this is a good topic, and I think it's a good topic for younger collectors because a lot of the younger collectors are just buying for gold or silver and for investments. So I think this can touch a lot of younger people and help them in the future. So... Just wanted to make a little topic about it. I can't wait to hear y'all's comment. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I really like talking about investments. I've been uh, trading stocks and doing coins and some silver and um, real estate, uh, rentals, and just some other hobbies. And honestly, this... YouTube is turning into uh, an asset as well. I mean, if if somebody, if you make a lot of videos, you do it for a long time, it can actually generate some income. I mean, that's just, it's another source of income. And I think as you get older, you, uh, you'll need it. I mean, so just, I appreciate everybody for listening tuning in uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments and uh, i really appreciate y'all and i hope y'all have a great day and a great weekend it's supposed to be a beautiful week coming up uh, go out enjoy the weather spend some good time with your family and keep on collecting and happy investments night